Bow. Hi everyone, this is Papa Zero here once again on Windows 95 and today we'll continue our quest. This is of course day two. Now before we get into the meat and potatoes of this build, let me share a little story with you. Many moons ago, I thought I was tough. I was young, I was naive. I slain the most vile of creatures, the most barbaric of barbarians, and I even managed to kill Dominus himself. Bored, I entered the battle arena, wanting to prove myself against my fellow exiles. With my dagger unsheathed and poison dripping from its tip, I began to seek my first victim. Following a small brick trail, I hid behind some bushes when I heard two voices that came just over yonder. Slight smirk spread across my face as my excitement for victory jolted through my body. With my right hand, I swathed few leaves away so I can peek at the fools who dared to be standing in my path. Seeing their backs turn towards me made me chuckle. This could not be an easier fight, I thought. Quickly, I downed my quicksilver flask, and as the speed increase kicked in, I leaped over the bush aiming at the taller of the two warriors. Ha! I laughed out loud. You are dead, sir, as my dagger pierced his chest. The man, who I can only describe as a handsome Netherland man with a thick, bushy beard, looked at me without saying a word. Ha! Again! He is speechless. He cannot move. He has been paralyzed by my poison. The second fighter, only a couple feet away, began to smile. And without even looking back, he said the following words, which I will never forget. Ye bent al dod. Now at the time I thought he said, Get bent, dude. Which I gotta say, is a little bit uh, unprofessional. But I digress. Before my mind could process what he actually said, a glow started emanating from the big man's chest. Wait, I thought to myself. Where is his arm? What is going on? Why is he still standing? The strong warrior had his tempest shield hidden in a fur coat unbeknownst to me. My dagger did not pierce his chest. Matter of fact, it didn't even scratch his shield. But before I could react, a thunderbolt came from his shield piercing my left armpit. That force alone made me fly out of the arena. I was lucky that day. I was crippled but spared. It was a humbling experience and I couldn't fight any longer. I had given up. It wasn't until many years later that I happened to stumble upon those two brothers again. By chance, they were sitting at my favorite cat cafe. I recognized them immediately. Scared, I turned away. Seeing my terrified face must have sparked something in them because they both approached me, told me there was nothing to fear, and helped me become the warrior once more that I am today. And that is how our group G -G 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 was born. The two brothers took on two apprentices. They saw potential in us when no one else did. They knew we could conquer the friendly fire SSF race with the Tempest Shield tech that they invented. And now we quest together. You see, my dear viewers, in this race, it's not about the monsters, the ghouls, or the goblins. It's about your own inner strength. What's in your heart? What kind of person are you? Can you handle an average hit of 332 thunderbolt to the face and stand still? and then repeat it over and over and over. If the answer is yes, well, my friend, there may be a place in our party for you yet. For the g g g g are taken applicants from 1 p.m. Eastern to 6 p.m. Pacific. If you want to apply, please see Billy at 111 Sally Road, P.O. Box 00265. Like you, my friends, I once thought that life was all about DPS, but nay, it's not. It's about how much you can take and still stand. How many chocolate puddings can you eat in one sitting without getting sick? How many nostril hairs can you pluck out with tweezers and live? Now, I'm going to leave you with just a few more clips of the day. Oh, yeah. You always do Chris. Oh, okay. Get away from me. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good <laughs> yeah, change is gonna be huge. Thank <laughs> you.
Oof. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.